I also wanted to just give really brief uh, um, updates on uh, the NCCN familial genetic breast ovarian and pancreatic cancer guidelines that we put forth version three of uh, on February 12th. Now, here were the guidelines that, again, I am very excited about these because these have been in the works for quite a while. We put in um, contralateral breast cancer risk for multiple genes where there was evidence. And I've just listed out here what the various genes um, that we put forth these guidelines or the risk estimates on, and then the strength of evidence as well. And you can see that it's a mishmash of 10 year, 20 year, 15 year, but again, it was just based on the source data and what was available. And there are references for this as well. And this was something that we publicized on our social media. The other item that was updated that, again, I'm very excited about is um, we provided expanded guidance about gynecologic cancers in BRCA1 and BRCA2, including reproductive consideration, non-surgical and surgical risk reduction, salpingectomy, hysterectomy considerations, and HRT after risk-reducing removal of the ovaries. And for any of you that see patients with inherited forms of breast and ovarian cancer, this is something that keeps uh, getting brought up over time. So some notes on hormone replacement therapy that we included in here, premature menopause due to RSO can cause detriments to quality of life, um, as well as other health issues. HRT can reduce these risks and is generally not contraindicated and should be discussed with premenopausal patients. So again, something that I think we all need to be bringing increased attention and awareness to for the health of our patients. And this is just a snapshot from the guidelines. So again, I know these guidelines are really long, page 54. So it's BRCA A205, and I've highlighted the sections that are um, that this information is included in. So it, this is in surgical risk reduction with bilateral salpingoophorectomy, and then the page after, which is page 55, when you take the, like when you look at the PDF, so BRCA A3 of 5, um, and again, talking about HRT uh, recommendations in the context of a BRCA carrier without a prior history of breast cancer. So again, these are now out and live. 